Welcome back everybody to part two of the carrot scrap four troy ounce recovery refining video. And I've had this stuff soaking overnight in hot nitric. I'm gonna crank the heat up now and give this a boil. The gold is boiling in hot dilute nitric. All the silver and all the base metals have been removed from that gold now. That's why we alloyed the additional silver to get the gold concentration down so that that nitrate can penetrate to the core of each piece and pull all the silver and all the base metals out. We emptied it out into our silver jar and in here any excess nitrate that remains in our solution from this will get consumed by the sterling silver in there. That solution is full of silver. There's probably, no, I wouldn't want to even venture a guess, but there's quite a bit of silver in this liquid. What I do is I'll filter that out, get all the solids out of there, and then we'll cement the silver out of it, like we've done here with a piece of copper. That's copper in there. And the silver comes out of solution onto that copper and falls down here as silver powder. I rinse all the blue liquid off of that silver powder and then I dry it out like you see right here this is cement silver that's been rinsed and dried out 99 to 98 percent pure silver here and then I melt it up into shot if you look down in there you'll see some shot underneath those bars that I've added that's the cement sil silver that's been melted into shot I feed it into my anode basket on my electrolytic silver cell and we pass an electric current through it and then it plates out as absolutely high purity silver on the inside of this stainless steel bowl. The stainless steel bowl is connected to the negative side of the power supply. The anode bar up here is connected to the positive side. The electrolyte the electrolyte facilitates the transfer of the silver ions that dissolve in that filter basket and travel through the electrolyte and then plate out on the inside of that cathode. The stainless steel bowl is the cathode. I've got another bottle that I use to store my used nitric. So what we're going to do is pour this off now. adding more distilled water to the gold and some more nitric I'm going to do one more nitric acid boil and the longer we spend here under the nitric acid the, the greater prospect that we'll have a successful refining pulling all the silver out of there as we as much we can with the nitric coils. This is the old lid. I'm not going to use that. Sometimes silver will get on here and then drain back down into the uh, into the gold and contaminate it. So I got a new lid. We're going to go ahead and boil this. This will be nitric boil number nine. Nitric boil number nine is done. And if you look at that gold, you can see it looks beautiful. The solution is now colorless so it's safe to conclude that all the silver and all the base metals have been pulled out. Uh, we could melt that gold right now. It'd be very close to 3 nines fine just like it is and that's how effective in quarting with silver and then parting with nitric acid is at cleaning that gold up. to rinse it out a couple times with some water
like I said, the gold down inside that beaker right now, it could be melted up, sent into the big refiner, just like it is, very close to 39's fine. I'm expecting four troy ounces here. I added 500 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, one milliliter of sulfuric acid for lead, and then 45 milliliters of nitric acid. And as you can see by the fume production in there after the gold has been dissolved, that there's excess nitric. So I just turned the heat up a little bit, evaporated this down until all those fumes disappeared. And that uh, tells me that all the nitric has been expelled. That was 500 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and only about 45 milliliters of nitric acid to put all that gold in solution. And I think we had a little bit of uh, excess nitric in there. As judging by all those fumes, we've evaporated it down, hopefully driven all the excess nitric off. Now we're going to take this down and let it cool. You can see the solution is a little bit cloudy. There's still some junk filtering out in that filter paper, probably silver chloride. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and filter the solution back through the same filter. Pull this off here. Filter the solution back through the same filter a second time and this should clear it up for us real good what happens is now that that filter is clogged up with contamination it'll be able to filter out even finer particulate from our solution so we're gonna pour this solution back through the same filter a second time here we go took the vacuum limiting switch out of the circuit, pulled a full vacuum on here, and you'll be able to see that real dark little spot right there. The filter paper has failed on me. All right, so now we get to start all over. I've got a funnel full of gold. Got most of that pulled through. Let's see if we can get this clean. 
cleaned up now. Just hold my finger over the hole, try to rinse all the gold out of the funnel down into the flask. Got the filter rinsed out. Put this paper in my paper storage. Rinse the rest of the gold out of the funnel here. solution looks nice and clear now I'm gonna add it to a clean beaker Precipitate out the gold with some sodium metabisulfite. We're going to pour off the waste solution into a uh, waste container. Now we're going to put some hydrochloric acid on the gold. I'll set it up here in the heat and boil it in hydrochloric acid for a few minutes. We're going to pour this hydrochloric acid boil off now and then I'll rinse it multiple times with some hydrochloric acid and some distilled water. Now I'm going to add some distilled water. We're going to give it a boil in some distilled water for a few minutes.
let's get our gold into a melt dish. good for a single refining Here's our pure gold bar, single refining. It looks beautiful. Nice mirror finish. No traces of contamination. We're expecting 125.6 grams. We got 119.6. That's 3.8 troy ounces. A little bit off on the yield, but that's okay. We'll take it. All right, this will conclude part two of the four troy ounce carrot scrap recovery and refining videos. Thank you for watching.